Um, well, by the way, if you saw the early tours, it was my idea to bring local people on stage, local strippers, to dance to Einstein Bob. It was my idea. Wait a minute, though. That's a, not always a happy ending. Uh, we had one fall, and uh, it totally went bad. And it's like, you're the one that wanted that. Like, come on, guys, it was fun while it lasted. But we, we couldn't pay any attention. We'd be playing the song. Is that a, what, what does she have on? Oh, she doesn't have anything on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so when that song came out, uh, I felt like, um, you know, like I, I felt like the first record, uh, a lot of people just, you know, saw that first record um, kind of like um, a novelty almost, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I'm going to tell you a little more about that record cover for just a second because I'm not embarrassed of it, but it is you need to. It's a need to know thing, right? So Tommy Lee's sister Athena did the makeup for that record, and uh, Cece had this horrible breakout. He tried some weird skin. His girlfriend tried to get him to do this skin thing, okay, exfoliate or something. And he broke out really, really bad, right? The day before the shoot. We didn't have any other time to do it. We were putting makeup on and they're like, it's not covering anything. And we just did the photo shoot anyway. So Enigma Records, that one right here. Let, let me show you. No? This is just this is interesting. Okay? I wanted it to look like rock and roll over the Kiss record. Okay. I thought that was cool, right? So I was like, let's just, you know, let's do drawings. And people were like, no, 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 don't do drawings. You're good-looking guys, you know? So, uh, so um, Enigma gets a hold of this thing, and they go, what's wrong with Cece right there? <laughs> Chicken pox or something? I'm like, no. <laughs> so they said, we can fix it. We have an airbrush on this. There was no Photoshop back then. It was paint. They freaking painted over the thing. Then they re-photograph it, and then made a record out of it, okay? So what you're seeing is very, very airbrushed. They couldn't airbrush just one guy. They had airbrush all of us. I'm like, guys, this is pushing it a little bit too far. And they're like, we don't have time to redo it. And I said, well, what about the back cover? So we got a chance to redo, at least redo the back cover. So I'm like, you know what? This is all, it's so over the top. It's like, I mean, we were wearing makeup, and and all that stuff, but it wasn't like that, you know what I mean? If you saw it's live, it wasn't that far. And uh, so, you know, so that's, that's what we did. But anyway, so I feel like when Unskinny Bob came out, people were finally going, you know what, they are a real band. They, you know, play, and, the, and the drummer's got some swing, he's doing the, that's kind of a cool thing. So I got a call from Modern Drummer and they're like, can you, Please transpose, Billy Amendola called me, he goes, can you transpose Unskinny Bob, we're gonna put it, we do these notes at the end of the, of the magazine, and we'd love to have that in there, we love that song. I said, okay, yeah. I hung up the phone and I went, I can't transpose shit. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> so I had a day off, maybe in Indiana, and I go, I'm going to take a drum lesson, and I'll ask that guy to transpose it for me. <laughs> so I put a baseball hat on, went in, and I said, yeah, I'm going to take a drum lesson. And he said, oh, are you a beginner? And I said, yeah, intermediate. And he said, okay. Um, so the guy was really nice. And I said, look, I really want to learn this Poison song. I'm just getting He goes, yeah, yeah, I heard that. He goes, it's kind of fun, kind of swinging. And I said, yeah. So, uh, so he's shown me the song, and I said, oh, is it like this? And he goes, oh, you got it. And he got it. And he goes, Wait a second, F are you? Like he thought he was getting pranked, you know what I mean? Like the look on his face. And I said, look, I'm gonna to be totally transparent. I really want you to transpose this, because modern drummer asked me to transpose it. I can't, and, I'm, and I feel stupid. I need to learn. I can write, but I'm not gonna be able to do all those notes. I can, you know, not to that extent. And uh, he said, yeah, yeah, sure, we'll do it. Can you give me, you know, some props? And I said, yeah, all right, I will. So he did it, and I invited him to the show and all that kind of stuff. Damn if I didn't leave that transpose paper somewhere. 
I never was able to find it. It's out there somewhere, okay, in a dumpster. So Billy's like, hey, do you have it? And I'm like, uh, I did, and now I don't. And he goes, well, you missed the deadline. So it never got put in the bank. So that's my story about 